don't know if you've ever had someone who's just always on your mind, but for me it was this girl. I met her four years ago, it was the summer after my freshman year of high school, and we were both at a summer camp. To me, she was the prettiest person there. <laughs> I started spending a lot of time with her, and every day we would just talk for hours. And by the end of the camp, I was completely fallen for her. But I said goodbye, and I never told her how I felt. So she went back to Brazil, and I stayed here in Pennsylvania. We were half a world away. I thought that would be it. A few days later, I got an email from her saying that she wanted to keep in touch. And we would email back and forth for about two years. And then they stopped coming. I tried to get over her. <laughs> it never really worked. And after a year and a half of silence, I open up my inbox and I see her name. And she said she was coming to the States, that she was going to be in New York, and she wanted to see me. So I drove the three hours, and I saw her July 17th, 2011. Almost exactly four years since we said goodbye. We ended up walking through Central Park, finding a spot under a tree. We just sat there for the entire afternoon, just talking like we did. It was as though nothing changed. I had one day with her. I could either tell her, or let it go by, and that's what I did. So I gave her a hug outside her hotel, and I didn't want to let go. But I did. I just kept on walking and thinking about what I should have done. That's when I decided that I needed to do this. I needed to tell her, no matter what it took, and I needed to do it face to face. Open life's final curtain and reveal all your plans at last. The things you know for certain are only memories from the scare you into I don't miss and complacency I found I am what I do but I don't know what that makes me 